Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain the condition for when vectors are parallel. So if you have two vectors, I'm going to give you a condition in order to show whether they're parallel or not. Okay, so parallel vectors. Okay, so let me take a red pen and a ruler, underline this. Okay, so in this case, two vectors uh, v1 and v2 are parallel if one of the vectors so one of the vectors so you can either take v1 or v2 so v1 uh, is equal to a scalar a uh, multiple of the other vector v2 okay so you can also start with v2 here v2 equals a scalar of v1 or in this case v1 is equal to a scalar of v2 so if you can write um, write the expression in this form so if you can relate your two vectors in this way where lambda is a scalar your vectors are parallel okay so where let me just add that lambda is a scalar. Okay, so let me underline this also in red. So this is the condition for when two vectors are parallel. Okay. Now, in this case, let me let me move on further. So let me move on further. So now, if lambda is greater than zero, so if lambda is positive, your vectors v1 and v2 are what we say like parallel. So like parallel are two vectors which are parallel in the same uh, direction. So further to this, if lambda is greater than zero, then v1 and v2 are like parallel so remember like parallel means they're parallel in the same direction so they're parallel in the same direction okay and if lambda is less than zero so if lambda is negative then v1 and v2 are unlike parallel so lambda is less than zero they're unlike parallel and unlike parallel means they're parallel in opposite directions so like parallel are two vectors which are parallel in the same direction and unlike parallel are two vectors which are parallel in opposite directions so remember let's take a green pen lambda is greater than zero your vectors are like parallel lambda is less than zero your vectors v1 and v2 are unlike parallel like parallel parallel in the same direction unlike parallel parallel in opposite directions okay so let me continue further let's try an example so example number one let me underline this so question is to determine if the following vectors are parallel okay and in part a the vector v1 is given by 6i minus 4j plus 2k and the vector v2 is given by so these have arrows i j and k are unit vectors vector v2 is 3i minus 2j plus k 
So remember, two vectors are parallel if one of the vectors is equal to a scalar of the other vector. So in this particular case, okay, we can see that V1 is two times V2. So the vector V1 is two times the vector V2. So since that's the case, uh, these two vectors V1 and V2 are parallel. Okay, so you could also say, uh, therefore, V1 is parallel to V2. So this is the symbol for parallel to. Okay. Now further to that, uh, V1 is equal to plus 2 of V2. Okay, or you could also say V2 is equal to half of V1. Okay, but either way, the scalar is positive. Okay, so in this case, since lambda is 2 and 2 is greater than 0, that means that, so that implies that V1 and V2 are like parallel. So remember, like parallel means they're parallel in the same direction, okay? So, let me take another example, so a part B. So in part B, let's do the same um, for these two vectors. So V1 is given by 3i plus 5j plus k and V2 is given by I minus 2J plus 3K. Okay, I hope you can see that. Okay, so in this case, just by observation, you can't make V1 on V2 a scalar of the other vector. So in this case, since v1 is not equal to lambda of v2 so you can't make it in this particular form okay that means that v1 is not parallel to so this is a symbol for not parallel to v2 okay so this is the method in order to show whether your two vectors are parallel or not. So in particular, with part A, the vectors were parallel. So, and also the scalar, lambda, is plus two, which is positive. So remember, if the scalar is positive, they're like parallel. Supposing if the scalar was negative, it's unlike parallel. Like parallel, remember, parallel in the same direction, unlike parallel parallel in opposite directions okay so that ends this video i hope you found this video helpful and i hope to see you in the next video thank you